Hi, it's VH1 Media, guys, and, uh, uh, sorry about, I didn't make a video for quite a while, uh, I was kind of busy, and, uh, anyway, in this video, uh, I'll be showing you a few more tips and, uh, a few more skills you're gonna need before I'll be teaching you on, uh, car making. So, in this video, I'll be working with smoothers, uh, turbo smooth, mesh smooth, uh, etc. So, let's jump right in it, uh, I just made a quick render here, as you can see, and, uh, just, I don't know. I'm gonna make them tips now, morning tip, and uh, I'm gonna make at least 100 of them till the end. So let's jump to 3ds Max. And uh, I've got no object, so let me create something. Let me create a simple box, and uh, I'm just gonna show you how smoothing works. So, 2 meters uh, by 2 meters by 2 meters. And uh, let's just hit F4 for edges. Hit J, disappear the brackets, all W to make it full screen. And uh, I'm gonna go to modifier panel and just uh, apply turbo smooth to it. And uh, as you can see, it's just gonna make a circle as you are able to see. Uh, that's bad, uh, as you can see, you don't want that. So, what we can do is uh, convert the box to editable poly. And uh, let's grab all of these corners here. L hit chamfer and uh, make it two segments. Can make it one. I'm gonna make it two just to make it. Actually, now uh, I'm gonna do it a different way. Uh, select one edge, rig, connect. Uh, select two segments and pitch them out. As you can see. Uh, do the same thing, rig connect to keep the same settings and I just do that to all the corners you can champ for it but this is a bit better and uh, let's apply turbo smooth now and uh, as you can see corners are nice and uh, if you wanna keep it smooth and uh, get rid of all those like uh, little lines just click ice line display and uh, you're gonna get this and uh, as you can see the corners are pretty smooth you can actually make it even harder if you want to afterwards. Uh, I'm gonna keep the same cube. I'm gonna make an inset. So let's say we're making a light or whatever. Uh, and uh, extrude that inwards. Something like that. And uh, just turbo smooth it. And uh, you're just gonna get this circular thing. But I want a square here. So what would I do normally is uh, first of all add some geometry here so press rig and I'm gonna select all around it and I uh, just connect like that and uh, if you click turbo smooth now as you can see you're gonna get the square it's gonna keep it squared so what is still as you can see inwards so go back to editable poly select one of the inner edges rig them connect and the uh, two segments and uh, just pitch down to about 82 and apply turbo smooth and uh, now we're getting what we want to as you can see uh, we're getting a nice sharp corners uh, we can actually get the corners even sharper if we select all the edges uh, just let me select a few of them loop chamfer one segment and uh, let's turbo split now and uh, here we got all we wanted as you can see we're getting a nice sharp edges uh, there's actually another way to get this result without adding the segments because if you let's say work on a front bumper of a car you haven't got a chance to just cut straight across because that's gonna affect your geometry so I'm gonna go on the other side and uh, I'm just gonna make a few insets to make it. Let's say this is your car's bumper or whatever. Uh, extrude it inwards again. This time a bit less because it's gonna be hard to see. And uh, once again, if I turbo smooth, I just simply go to get this round thing, which I really don't want to. Uh, this is actually very useful if you're making, let's say, door handle, uh, but in my case, it isn't. So let's just 
show you how to do it so what you want to do is uh, go to vertex mode grab cut tool and uh, let's just make a cut uh, right go here about okay and uh, you want to cut it till the inside so one cut and uh, another cut it doesn't have to be straight it doesn't matter and uh, for the other side what we're gonna do is rig them deselect like these faces and uh, simply are going to connect two segments to see what kind of difference is going to be and uh, as you can see there is really no difference here uh, we're getting the same corner just simply we use two techniques uh, here we made a cut to here and here we made a cut through all of it so as you can see it doesn't really matter what kind of cut you're going to use um, after that there's another technique for making hard edges harder the let's say the wall uh, make a small inset that's about all uh, something like that and the uh, turbo smooth it and uh, as you can see it's gonna be sharp nice and hard here so let's uh, use the same technique rig it connect and uh, just enhance the edges and uh, here we've got exactly the same thing using two different techniques so I'm just gonna show you a quick example of what I mean uh, just let me open I don't know uh, one second it will be into this max auto back and uh, it's dot straight recovered yeah and uh, this is actually I'll be making tutorial on this uh, just let it load up okay so this is the BMW model I'm gonna make sh showing you tutorial on uh, quite soon uh, so I'm gonna provide you with the base model which has no lights no grills no tires no windows uh, nothing basically uh, and I'll be showing you how to create these grills uh, these lights these well basically most of the things and uh, I believe uh, if you followed my Fiesta tutorial, she had enough skill to make all of these, make all the necessary stuff to cut everything and uh, to chamfer the corners. And uh, as you can see, for cut techniques, I really use the same method I just told you. As you can see, I got a cut, a few cuts, and uh, yeah, and uh, here I got a little gap. So basically, what I did just here is made a selected the line made it uh, extruded in made it a little inset and then extruded out and uh, I got this I got a very small gaps between it so if I actually go to a double poly and uh, clip on any of these oops uh, so it's it's very hard to do because wh when you record in your computer it really gets a bit slow so as you can see here uh that's yeah basically that's pretty much all there is uh just made an inset uh, ex extruded in and uh and i can see a problem that i forgot to fix up is these ones i don't need them and uh just straighten them out if i see a little issue like that just fix it up straight away otherwise gonna be I'm gonna have some problems in the future so as you can see grills, uh, so yeah this was my tutorial on symmetry modifier and uh, just an update. So the next video I should start on this BMW starting with a grills, uh, fog lights, uh, this air went, uh, these lights and uh, if you want to see a few renders of it, uh, I just want to show it to you. Oops, uh, let me find it, I believe it's this one, yeah, as you can see the grill is actually this looks pretty nice everything is smooth uh, I haven't made much of it that's the door handle and uh, that's the back of it as you can see we're getting some polygon issues but that was only the beginning I fixed quite a lot of it so yeah with the H1 and uh, with a quick update on a smooth modifier and uh, try to use turbo smooth uh, because that's the most effective one and uh, 
I'm going to be teaching you a bit more about smoothness in a upcoming tutorial, so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.